staying with us on Muru now, a top story of the hour. In a fresh case of cyber attack, actor politician Nagma has become the latest victim after she was duped of rupees one lakh after clicking on a spam link. Now, according to the FIR lodge, Nagma received a message that said her mobile net banking would be blocked if she does not update her PAN card number. Now, when she clicked on the message, an OTP was received, which, when clicked, immediately deducted rupees one lakh from her account. Now, Nagma has lodged an FIR with the Mumbai police, is what we learn. But as per the police, hundreds of such cases have come to the fore in the last two weeks, but no arrest has been made yet. Now, police has also urged people to be aware of such spam messages. All right, so that is, of course, yet another case of cyber fraud that has come to the fore. This one in connection with actor politician Nagma, who, of course, has been defrauded. Now, remember, there have been several instances where even banks, on the other hand, have put out messages where such things can be duplicated in today's world. So it is a boon in terms of having technology as well, but can be bane when you talk about such instances coming to the fore. So what we do know about how she was defrauded is that she received a message on the phone regarding a net backing. Now, the message warned, um, you know, to update a PAN or a account will be blocked, which most of us probably would have received in the past as well. Uh, but Nagma did click on this link in the message and it, of course, generated that OTP. And once she, of course, typed her PIN, one lakh was withdrawn from her account. So for more on this, let me go across to my colleague Shivani, who's joining me live on the broadcast for more inputs on this. Shivani, good evening. This is, of course, not the first time that we're seeing cases of cyber fraud. In fact, probably all of us, um, you know, have got those messages would look like it's coming from the bank or, you know, any such official source. But we do understand the latest victim of cyber fraud is actor turned politician Nagma. Talk to us about what really transpired there and what is the initial investigation suggesting by the police? Well, uh, cyber fraud that took place with actress Nagma, in this particularly, uh, we are given to know that according to the FIR lodged at the Bandra police station in Mumbai, on February 28th, a message uh, came on uh, her number uh, about the net banking, that uh, the net banking would be blocked from tonight, otherwise you should update your PAN card number, after which Nagma clicked on that particular link and then the OTP was asked. As soon as she shared her OTP number with the updated mobile, then 99,998 rupees were withdrawn from her account. In this case, the actress has filed a FIR in the Bandra police, but the Bandra police has clearly said that there are several uh, people who have recently complained about the cyber fraud that is taking place. So people must not share their OTPs or the PAN card numbers with any of the people that they are receiving it on uh, on their mobile phones. And hence, uh, Nagma has right now filed this FIR. The cops have said that they are going to find out who all are the people behind it because there are over 5,000 complaints that the, uh, band, uh, the Bandra police has recently observed with regards to cyber fraud. And henceforth, they said that uh, actually is one of those victims uh, those have become. Uh, thankfully, there was not much amount of money, according to the actress, in her account, which has led to a smaller loss. But yes, she has filed a complaint to know who are the people and who are the group of people exactly behind such kind of crimes. Right, Shivani. Thank you very much for getting us the latest on that. Of course, we're going to keep a close eye on it. And in terms of the story as well, it is a reminder for all our viewers as well as to how to really deal with such instances.